Welcome back to Homestead, Florida. Beautiful views shown to us by the Goodyear blimp. Our aerial coverage provided by Goodyear, the official tire of NASCAR. New Fuel Max tires help you have a winning fuel strategy. Green flag conditions continue and problems for the 16, Adam. Right front tire going down, so they come down pit road, they'll get four tires, and then they plan to come back for fuel because they will have to do that to make it to the end. Now, if it stays green, this thing will cycle through and everyone will have to come down pit road. But an issue on the right front tire for Brian Scott makes an unscheduled green flag stop, and if we get a caution, he will no doubt be done. And he doesn't need to come back for fuel right now because he knows that'll cost him another lap, and he... He, he pitted last on lap number 60, so you know, he can go till probably 110 or 115. That's another at least 10 or 15 laps. He does not need to come in now. Look at that battle right there, Phil. That's significant. The reason being, there's your leader, Harvick. Two laps down is Kyle Busch, just a couple of truck links behind Harvick. Mario Gosselin is one lap down. Kyle Busch needs to get around Harvick and get down, get himself to one lap down if he has any shot at all at contending for this win. That's the absolute only shot he has. That's the only shot he has to get to one lap down, and then the cautions could help him get back in contention. Well, the he two would, tires haven't seen they didn't, he, he, His truck doesn't seem to like that because he hadn't been as fast as Harvick on most laps. Plus, I got to believe the driver might be a little perturbed right now, <laughs> and that might have a little something on how he's running. Or maybe a lot. Maybe a lot. He, he's going to need two cautions as well because Mario Goslin's going to get the first one. Well, he could probably, it just depends on when it flies. If he could get around Harvick and Goslin. He's got a track to make up. He's got a track to make to up. To go by Goslin. So it would be difficult there. Again, the 16 came onto pit road because they had a tire going down. Kevin Harvick now has almost a four second lead over Timothy Peters. Matt Crafton runs third. Eric Almarola, Mike Skinner, Ron Hornaday, top six. Then it's Johnny Sauter, Colin Brown, TJ Bell, and David Starr in the top 10. Here's that battle we talked about for the top five in points. Todd Bodon right now comfortably in fourth. Johnny Sauter has that fifth spot. Colin Brown was 25 points behind coming into this race. He gains a spot, but only still 24 points behind. Adam Alexander. And Rick, we just talked about the fact that Brian Scott felt a vibration, came down pit road. They actually did not have a tire going down, but Colin Brown on the racetrack reporting he feels a vibration in that six truck, so we'll keep our eye there. Now, all these drivers are going to have to pit one more time for fuel. Some guys, though, having to come because they're having tire issues. We'll see if Brown's vibration pans out to be anything. Michael, I'll ask you, you, you I mean, you, you're out here every weekend. What is it? with all the tire vibrations. I mean, what is it every week that somebody's, you know, oh, I got a tire, and, and sometimes they go away, sometimes it's a loose wheel. I just, what is it? It, it seems to be balancing the tires themselves because you can go from set to set, and one set will shake like you wouldn't believe, but you can't afford to pit because you have the experience to know that it's probably just the tires out of balance. Something went wrong between the time it was mounted and it got on your race car, and that, that shaking will, will drive you crazy. You'll, you'll promise yourself it's going to blow out, but you just have to put up with it, take, put another set on, and then that vibration goes away. So there's just some inconsistencies in the way the tires are mounted, and then when they get on your car, the balance goes away. So one of the things I always wondered if it was the inner liner. You know, we didn't used to let a much air out of the inner liner. We kind of had a set number you had to keep it at. Now they let the inner liners way down, too, and that thing gets to shake around, around in there. In the, inside the tire. The only thing that I'll tell you, Daryl, is they, they start shaking. Yeah. As soon as you put them on, they're shaking, and they shake all the way to when you take them off. That's crazy. And Colin Brown, Thirty laps to go. eighth spot. Three, 30 laps remaining. Kevin Harvick out in front. He's got a 5.8 second lead now over Timothy Peters. Yeah, Timothy was charging on Harvick when they, uh, when they went back to green flag racing, but now he's fallen off. His truck's gone away a little bit on him. And no, we're going to have to have another round of pit stops. We have 29 laps to go. These guys cannot make it all the way as far as the guys that have not have, have not been in the pit since lap number 60. Would you gamble and only do fuel? Oh, yeah. If it, well, it depends on how many laps are to go. If it uh, would get me some track position, I would. The, the green flag stays out. I think you got to do both. Got We've seen Kyle Busch wear a tire out. We've seen guys have some problems. I think if it stays green, you're going to have to do both. Running out of laps, though, buddy. We're only 20 uh, something to go. 29 laps remaining. Some trucks have been around, and some have been dominant. Kevin Harvick in front of the field.
Now NASCAR on Speed is always on with NASCAR on Speed Broadband, a free super site for the hardcore fan. Get the best of NASCAR on Speed plus exclusive videos you can't get anywhere else. Log on now to the video section of SpeedTV.com or NASCAR.com. Are still Kevin Harvick out front. You know, Michael, we talked. You know, you were talking about you thought maybe we would need tires and fuel. I think these guys that pitted around lap 60, which was their last scheduled pit stop under that caution, they can go to 115 to 120, and then they're only going to have 15 to 20 laps to go. I think you got to do fuel only. We heard Ernie Cope during our commercial break tell Kevin that the tires look great on his pit stop, so I know that they're thinking about fuel only. Yeah, we heard that radio traffic. Those guys talk about. Kevin was like me. He said, "How my tires look?" And Ernie said they look great. What if the caution flies? We're here and talk about some debris. What if the caution flies now? We get tires and fuel. I think you get tires and fuel now. Absolutely. 25 laps to go. We're hearing track is clear. Stacy Compton on pit road now as they put the left side tires on that truck. The guy that needed some tires to get to the finish. I don't think it's just a given that you can get all the way to the end fill without considering some tires because this will be the longest green flag run we've had and these guys are just going to throw some gas in I'm not sure I mean, I mean you're probably right but I'm not sure every lap that they stay out there is more more of a chance they're not going to put tires on looks like here comes uh, the 88 I think on pit road Crafty. this is starting the regular round Daryl maybe just some gas here for craft well we'll get an idea of what these guys uh, are thinking six seconds is all we need six you know, seconds of fuel that's yeah. all they need so I think that's the plan for most everybody I, th I think you have to take a gamble that your tire wear is okay. Three, that you haven't corded two, those tires, Ray. One. Yeah, and with these rules, Phil, they definitely want to go and do fuel only, but they said, take a look at those tires. And Kevin Harvick said the same thing to his crew chief, Ernie Cope. He'll be down the pit road here very shortly. You know, and that's really important for the driver to get on pit road without sliding those tires. You saw Kevin Harvick very aggressive to that pit line, but he did perfect. Didn't skid his tires at all. If you're not going to change them, you darn sure don't want to slide them coming to pit road. Right. And Ernie said, remember, you've got an awful nice cushion on the lead there. They're going to hit it with gasoline. They're going to have to get in a little bit into the second can. A bit of fuel spills. They go to the second can. One, two and a half seconds there. Harvick is away. His teammate and our series champion on pit road now in that 33. Here goes our leader by the start finish line now as Harvick is down on the exit road coming up on the racetrack. I think he may come out in front of Timothy Peters. It's going to be pretty close. And that'll be big, too, because that'll keep him on the lead lap, Ray. And Hornaday going with gasoline here, but they're only going to go with the one can. It is complete, and Hornaday away. That may have been a little bit shorter stop than Harvick's. Only 19 laps of racing remaining. You see Kevin Harvick just in front of that 17. Now, the 17 is your race leader in Timothy Peters. Kevin Harvick now has enough fuel to get to the end. One thing about the 17, at times he's been as fast as Kevin. And right now, if he's got anything left, he might want to try to get up there and get him a lap down if he could. No tires. The call for Kevin Harvick and everyone else that's just come down pit road. Fuel only to get to the end. Timothy Peters, the last one to make that decision.